In this video, we'll be talking about the pattern grading functionality in 3D Draper. For those of you who are unfamiliar with this term, pattern grading is the process of creating a range of sizes for a single style. For example, here we have a men's shirt with its patterns in the 2D area. These patterns only correspond to one specific size, the sample size. Once we're happy with the fit and look for this size, we need to create the rules for how the sample patterns should change for all the other desired sizes. For example, from extra small to extra extra large. In other words, the patterns have to be graded. To work on grading, we click on the grading mode icon in the icon bar. As you can see now, each pattern has a set of different contours corresponding to different sizes. The amount of change between sizes is determined by the grade rules for each grading point. You can access the grading rules from the properties grading panel where you can see the set of available sizes and you can select the size that you're currently working on or reviewing. The sample size is the one you can't delete from the list of sizes. It doesn't have the delete button. All the other sizes can be deleted. Nor can we modify the X and Y displacements in the grading table for the sample size. You can select different grades with which you want to work from the current drop-down list. For example, the sample size for the shirt is medium. Let's select size large. You can see how the patterns in the 3D window have gotten larger according to the selected size. Now when we go from size to size, you can see how the pattern size in the 3D window is changing accordingly. During the grading process, we determine the X and Y displacements from the sample size for each grading point, shown here as small rectangles. Each grading point has its own number, and the amount of X and Y displacement is shown here in the grading table. To view the grading effect on the draped garment during the simulation, the program will use the current grade, which is the sample size, medium in this case. Switching to other grades will be dynamically reflected in the 3D window, so the garment will get smaller or larger depending on your size selection. We can also review how the garment's tension map is affected by the size change. This extra extra large size is obviously too large for this male model. Switching to extra large and large, still pretty loose. Now size medium, we see a slight tension in the chest area. In size small, we can see some tension in the shoulders. An extra small is too tight. Changing the pose to a more relaxed one, size small shows very slight tension in the shoulders and the chest. And size medium is pretty comfortable everywhere. One way to work with the grading in 3D Draper is to import the industry standard DXF AAMA files that already contain the grading information written to a file with the rule extension and the same name as the DXF file. The rule file is a plain text file format with a header and the displacement rules for each of the numbered grading points. It looks like this. For this garment, we can see the sample size is medium and there are six sizes altogether, from extra small to extra extra large. Each point from number one to number 106 contains the X and Y displacement values for each size. So when we import the DXF AMA file with the grading rules file, we're getting all of the grading information, which we can review by selecting the grading mode. Three D Draper allows us to create our own grading. For example, let's take a look at these leggings. Once you're satisfied with the fit of your sample size, you might want to create another size or several sizes of this garment model. In order to do that, first you need to mark those points of your patterns, which will determine the size and shape change for each new grade. You can do it by selecting one or several points on your pattern, right click and mark them as grading points. Notice that they're turned from small circles into small rectangles. Continue doing it for all the other points that are required for grading. Let's also change the name of the sample size into something more meaningful. For example, small-medium. Now let's go into the grading mode 
where you can add new sizes into your grading list to be placed above or below your sample size. All the new grades can be deleted by clicking the X button. Now we're going to be working with this new size. Let's change its name to medium large. Initially the X and Y displacements are set to zero, which means that the new size is just a copy of the sample size. We can show the grading point numbers by clicking on this number icon, so we know which point we're working with. There are several ways to modify the grading point position. You can either select a point or several points by holding the shift key and move them manually while controlling the delta X and delta Y displacements. For example, I moved this point number one by 10 millimeters in both directions. It's also shown in the grading table. And vice versa, I can type the X and Y displacement numbers in the grading table for this point number. Furthermore, we can select a point, right click and select the move command and specify your required displacement for X and Y. We can do it for several points at once as well. I'm selecting the points number four and number five Right click, move, let's say down 15 millimeters, and so on. Now when I switch between size small medium and medium large, I can see the difference for this pattern in the 3D window as well. Another possible way of modifying the entire pattern size is by using the familiar transform box. In order to do this, I'm selecting the transform mode icon, and now I can select an entire pattern or several patterns simultaneously. Now we can alter the pattern size for this grade either separately for the height or width or both at the same time. I can also lock the height to width ratio or I can open the scale dialog and enlarge or curtail the selection in X and Y directions. After we've created the proper grading for these leggings, we can sew them together and see the difference between these two sizes. Or we can switch to the attention map mode and analyze whether the grading is correct for the avatar sizes. In some cases, the design and the grading can be pretty complex and include many patterns, sizes, and grading points. Like in the case of this gown, we have over 700 grading points. In order to make it easier to work with different sizes, we can turn some sizes on and off in the grading mode. For instance, I can see the difference between the sample size 18 with some specific sizes like size 4 or size 6. Finally, you can import the grading rules created elsewhere and apply them to your model. For example, for this jeans model, we already have all the numbered grading points. Now we create the grading rules in Excel and export it as a plain text to match the rule file format. In order to import and apply the grading rules correctly, we go into the grading mode. Add all the necessary grades from 24 to 32. And now let's import the rule files. All the grades are imported correctly and we can analyze the fit for each size. Please check out the other tutorials for other features and let us know if you have any questions or suggestions.